Hello. Um, this is going to be my first time painting and talking at the same time. It might go well, it might not. Um, the plan is, I have painted this beautiful thing in the past. I really love it, and I'd like to recreate this effect that I have where there is shiny resin underneath, and then there is a paint pour on top. Um, also, there I did paint white. I uh, painted it white, then put resin on it, and then the paint pour on top. I like the fact that there's negative space and that it has that outer space look. I would like to recreate that on here, obviously taking away a little bit of the negative space, um, but placement-wise, something similar where this would take up the majority of this space, pouring on top of the pattern I've drawn, and then maybe a swath over here like that and something up there uh, but allowing you to see down to the bottom layer here so this is a PBO liquid panel um, so it had a little frame around it with a depth to pour in I painted it white and then I put a layer of resin and then I drew on top of the resin with an oil-based sharpie paint pen um, so today I'm going to try to recreate a similar color scheme. I'm pretty sure that dark blue was this indigo, uh, golden brand indigo that I got as a sample that was, I think, the high flow stuff. And I usually work with fluid acrylic, golden fluid acrylic brand, uh, the line of fluid acrylics. And so these are all from that line. I've got titanium white. I've got my Hansa yellow, which I've added some white to. Um, I do that because the Hansa yellow medium tends to be the, well, it is the least dense of all my paints. So I, it ends up coming to the top and taking over all my paintings. So I add white to make it a little more dense. And today I'm going to add even more white. Then my quinacridone magenta. And this is a mixture of the yellow and the red, Hansa uh, yellow medium and naphthol red. And this is a weirdo mixture of teal and interference blue green and zinc white. I thought the interference green would show up, but it doesn't, just so you know. I have prepared these little cups here that will, I'm going to mix the colors into so that they show up against the dark indigo background and I'll go ahead and do that and get the camera set up here sorry bear with me gotta strap it in okay tighten it up why is it not focusing focus all right I think we're good I wonder if I could fix the lightness some. Okay, so, oops. Gonna maybe knock some of that out. Edit it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little of each of these to these cups. That'll be my white that I preserve. A little yellow. little magenta a little orange a little teal and I have these extras what was I going to do with that? I don't even know I think I'm going to pour out this white and give myself some more of that magenta that is not tinted. 
because I just like the color. It reacts well with the other colors. All right, I'm gonna line these up. I need to stir this. Okay, so we are mixing the yellow gently as to not slosh it out or create air bubbles. I do have a heat gun that I try to take out most of the air bubbles after I paint, but it's always nice to start with as few as possible. Yellow's mixed up. Whoa! Can't do that. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, so I need to get a different stir stick for the other ones, or wipe that off, one or the other. So here's my quinacridone magenta. turn to a sort of almost a bubblegum pink which I'm not a huge fan of but it will go well with the other stuff. I'll wipe this off. Then I've got my orange. Ooh, I filled these cups way too full. That's pretty. That reminds me of a creamsicle. Wipe that off. And here is my teal with even more white added. I had zinc white added and now I've added some titanium white. So I have a theory that this is gonna disappear because it's gonna be super dense compared to the other pigments. Which is a shame because it would be pretty. Um, I need to mix up some teal that is not so dense without all that. All right. Um, let's adjust the camera here so you can see what I see. Okay. Whew. I'm nervous. I really want this pour to look nice. So I'm going to take even more of these little medicine cups and I'm going to pour my pour my indigo into that so that I have a little more control. I can just control these little cups a little better. So I'll start with pour here and one coming across here and like that. And maybe a little blob that runs off over here. Okay, compositionally I like that so far, but it's not enough paint. Not enough paint. Although I don't want too much, or um, when I'm below the straw to mix the paint, I might end up with it's spreading around too much, but it looks like this is all I'm gonna have, so this is gonna have to do. Put a little bit more up here. Okay. Ooh. Now for the magic. Get my straw ready. <clears throat> I'm going to first, la, 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 la. let's go with the yellow. So what I did before is I just sort of dribbled it into the blue. A little bit of this color, a little bit of the other color. So 
got that yellow. Now we'll go for a little bit of orange. Oh, I do not want to get it on the resin. We'll have to make that work because it's not coming off. That was careless. I'm going to skip the bubble gum pink and go straight to this magenta because I just like it. I'm trying to make sure I get a little bit of all the colors in every section so they feel cohesive. <clears throat> and we'll go with teal. Might come back and add some white. We might not. We'll see how it goes. I'm adding a lot of teal because I really do think it's going to disappear. <clears throat> it's already sinking. They all are. Okay. Now, can I zoom in a little bit? Not too much. I don't want to lose the shot. Okay, so let's wish it around. Mm, it's all sinking so much. What's up with that? I don't want to tilt it because I don't want <clears throat> I don't want to lose anything. So any spreading is going to have to be with a straw. But I, I like where it's at. I might spread it over here just because I don't want all that orange out in the open. Add a little bit more of the um, indigo onto those spots. See if I can incorporate it back into where it belongs. Make it a little less obvious. This straw is too big. Okay. Alright, time for some white. Let's see if we can liven this up a little bit. It really did sink a lot. Everything did. I don't remember that happening before. I mean, I've got some cool activity going on, but it's really subtle compared to what I was expecting. Never can recreate an artwork, that's for sure. Can only have a plan. I'm gonna... Okay, so I just didn't feel like I had enough control with this big wide straw, um, so I just went and got this, which will hopefully serve me much better. Uh-huh. Okay, 
Okay. I feel like the more I blow the stuff around, it's just mixing together and sort of getting muddy. So I'm going to just strategically place another layer of color and just barely some of them, some areas are getting nice. I need to pay more attention. I really like this area and I really like that area. And I've got some pretty cells there. Um, I think more white might look nice. Uh, not on the background though. Just keep spreading out. Gotta make it work. Some more magenta. And some more of that lovely orange. Let's make that work. And then Try to finish it. down. Okay, I am liking the colors. I am not sure what's gonna happen in the next five minutes or so, so I'm gonna leave it alone and I'll pause the video and set a timer and we'll come back and look at what has happened. Five minutes and I don't know if it's my imagination. I will know once I look at the video and that split shot, but it seems like things are becoming more vibrant, like the white is starting to come back up, which doesn't make any sense to me. But the blue definitely seems to not be taking things over. I really like that. I think that's gorgeous. And this is intriguing. I'm going to put a little bit more white here and maybe there if I have enough, um, because I just don't like those spots as much. I have noticed that the white really um, does some cool cell effects when you blow it out with the straw. I think that'll also give the whole thing a little bit more contrast because I'll have some light spots and some dark spots. I lost a little bit of some stuff over here that I liked, but. Maybe I'll like this better. This 
seems to be shrinking. Is this table not level? I have had a really problem, a really big problem with level areas while painting. I check the tables ahead of time with the level, I do, but it still seems that they tend to to uh, slide to one side. Okay, I'm going to use my heat gun here to pop some of the air bubbles that I see. I have it on low and I give it time to get hot because it's more the heat than the moon. Maybe you saw that. They all exploded at once. Ooh, that's bringing out some interesting stuff. In case you aren't aware, and for your information, I do not use silicone in any of my paintings to create the cells. I try to do it by understanding the, the density levels, um, the specific gravity of my paint pigments. Uh, I use all one brand. I use Golden, and they're really good about, um, about sharing their specific gravities for each pigment and they're pretty uh, standard for their brand so it helps to know and then you know that the denser paints go down and the less dense paints come up and it, that's what can create these cellular formations without the use of silicone and I don't like to use silicone because it they don't know what it does with acrylic paint over time. It could react poorly, it could yellow your paint. Also, <clears throat> it could get trapped underneath and it is oil-based and your acrylic paint is water-based and so it could continue to have this soft spot that's not dry over time, which could cause all sorts of problems. <clears throat> okay, I think that I'm happy with this. So here you see the point of view from which I was working. Uh, I like that composition. And it reminds me of that composition, which I liked. I think that things will dry more similar to this once it's all said and done because these, these blues really do tend to darken up. So I think that this will get a lot darker. And those colors really are starting to pop out. I was worried at first, but they're starting to show. I mixed that area up way too much. It's a little muddy. I'm not liking that. I do like those little baby cells there. That's cute. Cute little baby cells. Oh, I see a little demon monster right there. Here you can see all the little air bubbles that were popped when I did the heat gun. I like that right there. That's lovely. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I think about this yet. It's not unsuccessful. It's not a fail, but is it, is it fabulous? Hmm. We'll see. Might have to mess around with it some more.